missed an episode of your favorite podcast, choose from over a decade of content in our archives. Not just the latest episode. All free at GCNlive.com. Friends, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. Registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years, of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We are your health advocates on the bright side. If you have a health challenge that you're frustrated with, if you have some kind of health condition, or friend or family member or loved one has some kind of health condition that you want to help address, Give us a shout, 844-236-6010, and we can help you. 844-236-6010 is your number today and every day on the Bright Side. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com. Take a look at our shopping cart. You can also click on the Join the Team link if you want to start yourself a longevity business and help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Also want to encourage you to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to my webmaster, Robert Lundgren, who does such a good job at pharmacistben.com. If you're in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area, please stop by the Faith Tabernacle Gospel Church, Wednesday, January 7th. Doc Wallach is going to be doing a presentation starting at 5 o'clock. Registration starts at 5 o'clock. Doc talks for two or three hours. If you haven't heard him speak, he is educational. He's entertaining. He's funny. And it's just a great two or three hours. You're going to learn a lot of stuff. If you haven't seen Doc, I've seen him speak uh, countless times. And every time I go, I learn something new. A uh, super entertaining guy. And uh, he's going to be doing two talks in the Minneapolis area, January 7th, Wednesday, January 7th, 5 o'clock, and Thursday, January 8th at 7 p.m., you can call Ted Anderson for more information at 952-221-1108, or you can call Clinton Scott for more information at 763-221-8432, or email Clinton at clinton.w.scott at gmail.com. Okay, we got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. We'll take your phone calls in our second segment at 844-236-6010. We're going to be talking to... Uh, Dr. Janice Vilhauer about a really interesting new book that she has. We'll do that at the bottom of the hour. If you have questions about health or nutrition, prescription drugs, medications, the longevity products, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to say hi and contribute to the conversation, we'll take your calls in our next segment, 844-236-6010. Okay, so last time we spoke, we were talking about the relationship of health and the lack of health to eating behavior. This is all related to the gas transmitters, specifically nitric oxide. Fasting, intermittent fasting, laying off food, upregulates nitric oxide, increases nitric oxide, uh, in increases nitric oxide levels, it upregulates hydrogen sulfide, another key player in anti-inflammation. Pretty much all health, uh, any health benefit you can think of can accrue from fasting behavior, from eating less food. I know we live in an empire of food. We are encouraged to eat at every turn. Anytime we're encouraged to do something by the media and by commercials and by marketing interests, red flags should go up. 
And we are encouraged more than anything else. We're encouraged to eat, 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 eat. Maybe take drugs is the next uh, thing that we're encouraged to. And if you watch TV, every other commercial is for food or for drugs, food or for medication, food or for prescriptions. We are encouraged to eat at every turn. And no surprise, that means we're encouraged to be sick at every turn because the more we eat, the more we eat, the more calories we ingest, the sicker we get. Alternatively, or conversely, fasting upregulates all the markers of health. Fasting upregulates anti-inflammatory factors. Fasting is anti-aging. Facts, fasting has, uh, has relaxation properties, improves blood flow, healthier brain, ha better immune system. In other words, fasting and caloric restriction, eating less calories, improve every single marker of health, especially blood sugar and insulin response, as well as all the symptoms of autoimmunity and the prognosis of autoimmunity. By the way, fasting improves cancer too. Between cancer and heart disease, you have the two leading causes of death. Between cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, you have the three leading causes of death. And fasting up improves the prognosis for all, all of these leading causes of death and disease. If you go on to Google Scholar or scholar.google.com, which I love if you're interested in learning about health or about nutrition or about chemistry, you don't want to just go to straight Google or Yahoo or your regular uh, search engines. Go to scholar.google.com, Google caloric restriction. You'll get uh, zillions, page after page after page after page of articles and studies. Caloric restriction improves aging. Caloric restriction uh, improves gene expression. Caloric restriction delays aging. Caloric restriction promotes cell survival. Caloric restriction delays, I'm just reading this off of scholar.google.com. Caloric restriction delays disease. Caloric restriction improves aging. On and on and on. What do we need to see here? My friend Janine sent me an article on Facebook. Prolonged fasting reduces stem cell based, uh, reduces IGF-1 to promote stem cell based regeneration and reverse immunosuppression. And no surprise, eating is a stressful activity in the body. Nobody's saying not to eat, by the way. We're not saying stop eating. We're just saying restrict your calories and practice intermittent fasting. All the anti-aging and anti-disease strategies that we can employ, there's nothing, 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 absolutely nothing more powerful than simply eating less. If you're saying, thinking to yourself, well, I can't afford a nutritional supplement program. I'm on a fixed income and uh, fixed budget. Well, guess what? You're going to save money when you practice intermittent fasting. You're going to save money on food when you uh, restrict your calories or limit your calories. In addition to living longer, in addition to reducing the symptoms of inflammation and, and autoimmunity, et cetera, et cetera. And if caloric restriction is proven, and it has been proven, uh, uh, shown in countless studies to quench inflammation, improve heart health, circulation, slow down aging, why is it such a stretch to believe that if we have ALS, amyotropic lateral sclerosis, or we have any kind of inflammatory health issue, arthritis, or an autoimmune disease, why is it such a stretch to believe that we can immediately improve our suffering, immediately improve the prognosis of the disease with something as simple as eating less food? It's not sexy. It's not fancy and magical. It's not some kind of formula that you have to go on the internet and order and put your credit card in and uh, participate in marketing and advertising. It's something we could do ourselves. We could sit on the couch and practice caloric restriction. We can sit on the couch and practice intermittent fasting. We can uh, sit on the couch and, and eat less food and every once in a while go a day without food. Harvard study, Dr. Christopher Hine, research fellow at the Department of Genetic and Complex Disease. One week of dietary restriction increases antioxidant response and protects mice from damaged livers associated with messed up blood chemistry, ischemia. And all of these benefits resulted from genetic changes. You can change your very genes by practicing intermittent fasting. Caloric restriction and fasting work epigenetically. Caloric restriction and fasting control the genes. That's what epigenetics is about, controlling the genes. Con caloric restriction supersedes genetics. Our behaviors can supersede our genes. Caloric restriction turns genes on. Caloric restriction turn turns genes off, too. Caloric restriction overrides our genes. Tell that to the next boneheaded healthcare professional or layperson neighbor friend who tells you there's nothing they can do about their ALS or their short lifespan or their diabetes or their cancer because it's in the genes. 
Okay, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back, 844-236-6010. If you've got phone calls, if you've got questions, we're taking your phone calls, 844-236-6010. We'll be uh, talking to Dr. Janice Vilhauer at the bottom of the hour about her new book, Think Forward to Thrive. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Hi, John Huebner from Midas Resources. Are you tired of watching your hard-earned assets dwindle away? As government spending is out of hand and the Federal Reserve is creating in excess of $20 billion a week, are you tired of stockbrokers gambling away your hard-earned money? Is this market a setup for a crash greater than 1987? Too many of today's policies resemble those that led to the collapse of 1929. This is John Huebner, and that was me in 2007. And we all know what happened when the subprime credit bubble burst. By March 2009, the dollar lost 50% of its value. The entire U.S. banking system was on the verge of collapsing. Like all financial problems of the past, is history about to repeat itself? Call me, John Huebner, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 129, before it's too late to protect yourself. Will the oncoming catastrophe take all private IRAs, 401ks with it? There is a way to protect your hard-earned assets. Call me, John Huebner, at one 800 686 2237 extension 129. Registered pharmacist Ben Fuchs ensures he gets the best use of his mineral supplements by using Longevity's Ultimate Enzymes. If you start a nutritional supplement program and you find that you get loose stools more than you get any benefits from the supplements, there's a good chance that you're not absorbing the minerals. Now, here's the thing about minerals and mineral absorption. You need to have a functioning fat system. You need to have functioning bile. You need to have a well-functioning liver and a well-functioning gallbladder in order to get the benefits from nutritional supplements with minerals. It's very common that... As we get older, we don't absorb fats, we don't utilize fats, and then you won't be utilizing or absorbing minerals either. I would be getting on the ultimate enzymes from Longevity. I'd be making sure I was taking them with all my meals. To get optimal use of your nutritional supplements, order Ultimate Enzymes from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Order today. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy. Until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's TogetherSave.com. TogetherSave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. TogetherSave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at TogetherSave.com. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. Okay, I got a note here from Christina. Said she's been trying to get a hold of me. Uh, She had a gallbladder removed on uh, November the 4th of 2013 due to chronic issues and 19 years of misdiagnosis. If you've had a gallbladder removed, it becomes extra, extra important, Christina or anybody, 
that you focus on your ability to process fats. The gallbladder is a key player in how we absorb fats, as you know if you've heard this program before. It is not an extra organ. Doctors feel like you don't need a gallbladder. You can live just fine without a gallbladder. Not true. Without a gallbladder, you run higher risks for, higher risks for deficiencies in fatty vitamins, vitamin A, E, D, K, essential fatty acids, plant nutrients, phytonutrients. Accelerated aging is likely. Even cancer is a possibility with a gallbladder removed. Cancer is always a possibility, of course, but you have increased odds of tumor, for, tumor formation and, and growths and polyps and adenomas, et cetera, et cetera, without a gallbladder. What do you do? Number one, you've got to focus on how you process fats. That means use your ultimate enzymes. If you're on the longevity products, digestive enzymes featuring something called lipase, L-I-P-A-S-E, make sure that you're using lecithin granules with all of your meals. It's probably a good idea to use some apple cider vinegar and to take some extra bile salts, which you can get as a supplement. You'll find some, of course, in the beyond, in the... Uh, uh, the ultimate enzymes from longevity. Probiotics, good bacteria, are very important for helping process fats. In fact, that's one, that's one of the most uh, important roles for good bacteria in the gut. And it's one of the, one of the roles that you don't hear about a lot when it comes to these uh, probiotics and good bacteria in the gut. They help our body process fats. They help our body process fatty hormones as well. So if you have liver issues or estrogen issues or progesterone issues or PMS issues, all of these are great reasons to take probiotics as well as if you've had a gallbladder removed. And then, of course, you want to make absolutely sure you're getting your fatty vitamins in a supplemental form if you have a gallbladder removed. That means 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day, 400 IU of vitamin E a day, preferably in the mixed form, mixed tocopherols and mixed tocotrienols. It's probably a good idea to get on some vitamin K2 Vitamin K2, maybe 5,000, anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 micrograms a day. And then get, getting some sunshine as well as supplemental vitamin D in your omega-3 or fish oil. Um, and, of course, essential fatty acids are also going to be important. Without a gallbladder, you run higher risks for all fat malabsorption issues. And speaking of fat malabsorption issues, got another note here from Alfred who wants to know about chelitis, which is... Uh, uh, kind of a, a peeling, peeling, painful lip condition. Uh, he says that he's heard me talk extensively on vitamin A and C. Yes, indeed, vitamin A and C are very important. In fact, one of the signs of vitamin A deficiency is peeling lips. 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day. Vitamin A is easy to supplement with, and it's really cheap. Uh, all dry skin and peeling skin issues, whether it's on the lips or anywhere else, need to be regarded as a fat issue first and foremost. The skin is very responsive to fat and fatty vitamins. Now, topically, I wouldn't be using any Blistex or, or Carmex or Vaseline or waxy stuff on my lips because when you use these kinds of products on your lips, your lips will slow down or down-regulate their production of moisture factors, and you can end up with a worse problem than before you started. This is one of the issues I have, one of the big problems I have with moisturizers in general. The more moisturizers you use on your skin, the less likely your skin is going to be to produce its own moisture factors. The drier your skin will ultimately be, and the more moisturizer you're going to use. How do you like that? The more moisturizer you use, the drier your skin is. The more lip protective products you use, the drier your lips get. Always regard dry skin, peeling skin, uh, sore, painful lips as a sign of nutritional deficiency, either getting the nutrients or absorbing the nutrients. So making sure you're taking your fat-soluble nutrients as well as helping your body absorb those fat-soluble nutrients. Okay, uh, got a couple minutes here before we get to our guest, 844-236-6010 if you want to get on board. If not, we'll just continue talking here uh, about uh, caloric restriction. If you're in the Minnesota area or Minneapolis area, by the way, go check Dr. Wallach out Wednesday, January 7th and Thursday, January 8th. You can get more information by calling Ted Anderson at 952-221-1108 or uh, Clinton Scott at 763-221-8432. Okay, so if you've got any autoimmune disease, if you have any inflammatory health issue, caloric restriction is probably the simplest, easiest, most inexpensive way to improve your symptoms. If you have any degenerative health issue, and that includes ALS. I'm saying, talking about ALS because I've been getting a lot of letters about ALS, and I had a nice long conversation with a uh, friend of mine who's also a listener, probably listening out there, John. Hey, John. And he's been dealing with ALS, and here's the deal. If you have ALS or any autoimmune disease, there's nothing your doctor can do for you, I'm sorry to say. Nothing 
The medical model has nothing in its armamentum, nothing in its formulary to reverse or cure degenerative diseases and autoimmune diseases and inflammatory diseases like ALS. If you want some pain relief, they can give you a pain pill maybe. Or maybe they can give you a drug that will poison your inflammatory system to shut down the inflammation, but they can't do anything to make your illness better. There's nothing a doctor can do for you if you have ALS or MS or MD, muscular dystrophy or Parkinson's disease or anything else. Doctors will say, we don't know what causes these things. But if we know that we can reduce the symptoms with something as simple as eating less food, clearly our food and eating behavior must have something to do with our symptoms. This is just common sense, you guys. If we know... And this has been shown in study after study after study. You can Google scholar.google it yourself. If we know that when we restrict our food or we lower our calories or we practice intermittent fasting, our inflammation goes down, what is that saying? Clearly, there's a relationship between eating behaviors and inflammation. Yes, we have a hardwired imperative to eat. But this hardwired imperative to eat is manipulated. It's worked on by marketers who don't care about our health by people who are making money off of our misery. Our hardwired imperative to eat, built into the brain, is so built in, it's so enmeshed into our neurology, into our brain, in such a fundamental fashion that when you hear these simple ways to improve our, the quality of our life and our health, when these ideas of caloric restriction and eating less food and intermittent fasting are presented to us and proven to us in dozens of scientific studies, we tend to be resistant. It can't be that easy. It is that easy. It doesn't seem like it's that easy, but it is that easy. Wouldn't it be inspiring to have uh, the ability to control your inflammation? Wouldn't it be inspiring to have the ability to control your pain without having to go to the doctor? Wouldn't you love to be able to control your disease state and to improve your health without having to take a prescription drug? This is what we're talking about here, you guys. We're talking about taking the control of our health back from a medical model that has failed us and that doesn't care. Eating less, reducing energy input into the body is how we calm the body down. And that's really what this is about at the end of the day, calming the body down. Our bodies are in this hyped up, freaked out mode, just like a baby who's scared. And degenerative disease and autoimmunity and cancer, these are all the manifestations of a body that's jacked up, of a body that's hyped up. It's in this hyperactive mode from a metabolic biochemistry sense. It's like the physiologic version of anxiety. By the way, we're going to talk about anxiety tomorrow because this is another important issue and another manifestation of a jacked up, hyped up body. And so anxiety is another way that the hyped up survival response manifests itself. Last program, we talked to a caller who was experiencing anxiety when he went to work. And I got to thinking, well, this is anxiety is like a, phys, is like a mental, version, mental version of the physiology of excitement, the physiology of hyperactivity. So anxiety, in a way, is the brain's manifestation of a survival response that shows up as autoimmune disease from a physiologic perspective. We'll talk about that tomorrow on The Bright Side. We're coming back with our guest, Dr. Janice Vilhauer, and uh, we're going to talk about her new book, Think Forward to Thrive. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-281-8583. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate Free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-281-8583. That's 1-800-281-8583. Call 1-800-281-8583. Yeah. 
Did you want to see me, sir? Well, I did, but now that I do, I'm not so sure. Sir? Johnson, I got a mission for you that could change your life. Oh, good, sir. It involves traveling halfway around the world without so much as half a clue of where you're going or what you're going to do when you get there. Situation normal, sir? Uh-huh. Well, right, I'll be leading this mission, Johnson, so I'll be telling you what to do. You, sir? That's right, Johnson, and I say first things first. Oh, good plan, sir. And what I say is first is food. Always remember that, Johnson. Food is a big deal. Sir, my brother-in-law can guess a really good deal on some surplus MREs. Johnson, if you've got half a brain and that empty head of yours, you'll call the freeze-dry guy like I did. That food is better for you, it rehydrates faster, and it's good, Johnson. And it keeps for up to 30 years. Will we be gone that long, sir? Well, I hope not. Now, get your supplies organized and meet me down to the pier at dawn on Sunday. We sail at sunrise. Yes, sir. This adventure is brought to you by the freeze-dry guy. Call 866-404-3663 or visit freezedryguy.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial just like the one you're listening to right now no other network provides the level of customer service we do when it comes to radio advertising we are your one-stop shop and no matter how big or small your business is we can help email us and advertise at gcnlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website advertise at gcnlive.com easy affordable effective We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. You're listening to GCN, proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Lock down your digital life at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side, your common sense, common sense health and nutrition program. I'm Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, and as you know, If you've listened to this program, one of the things we're dedicated to on the bright side is the health of the entire body, not just the physical body, but the mental body and the emotional body and the spiritual body too. In addition to the physical dimensions of nutrition, nutritional supplementation, we approach all of these aspects of health, spiritual, mental, and emotional, all of which play a role in how effective and how vital our lives can and will be. So with this in mind, I'm honored to welcome our guest to the bright side. She's written a really cool book. 
about well-being that, as one reviewer on the back, on the back of the book puts it, it turns psychotherapy on its head. I love that quote. As you may or may not know, psychotherapy is about resolving the past to get to the future. My guests take on this is a little different, actually a lot different. Her approach is to move to the future without necessarily focusing so much on the past. And even while this may make sense, it may seem logical, it's not how most of us, including myself, tend to live our lives most of the time. Most of us, including me, we have a tendency to bring our past with us into the future. And it would seem that this is one of the reasons why we're condemned to repeating our actions and ultimately repeating the outcomes. Our guest is a professor in the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Science in the School of Medicine at Emory University in Atlanta. She's the director of the Adult Outpatient Psychotherapy Program and the author of a very interesting book, an easy to read book and helpful book called Think Forward to Thrive, subtitled How to Use the Mind's Power of Anticipation to Transcend, I love that word, Transcend Your Past and Transform Your Life. Please welcome to the Bright Side, Dr. Janice Vilhauer. What's up, Dr. Villauer? Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for having me here. Th thank you for being here. I love the book. Let's get, let's get uh, cut right to the chase. What is future-directed therapy, and how does it, in your opinion, differ from ordinary psychotherapy, the law of attraction, positive thinking, and all the other zillions of self-help strategies and concepts and resources that people have available to them? <laughs> That's a very big question. <laughs> Um, so future-directed therapy is basically, uh, well, I should say initially it was a treatment that I developed for a major depressive disorder. So it came out of work that I was doing with a lot of people who had depression, and I was really noticing that there was a very big difference between people that were seemed to be able to get better and those that didn't. It always seemed that the ones that were uh, getting better were able to focus on a goal to identify something that they wanted to work towards. And in that process, that's when you would see the symptoms really starting to lift and you would see them moving towards well-being. So I wanted to really understand what was happening. And I looked into the psychology research and the literature and found that there was a pretty large body of work that had already been uh, Sort of research to show that future thinking was incredibly important to well-being, uh, but that none of it had really been sort of pulled together in a sort of step-by-step -step process. And so that's really what I wanted to do: was to pull these tools together that you know people had been studying for many years and really offer it as an intervention that people could use on their own. Now, now future thinking that makes sense. We think about the future. We always have wishes and aspirations and desires about the future. But the problem is, is we bring the past into the future. Correct? Well, exactly. That the way that most people, when they're not sort of consciously aware of what they're doing, uh, kind of create future experiences, is they tend to project uh, from their past. They tend to anticipate that the future is going to look very much like the past, and as a result they act according to their expectations. And what that eventually leads to is creating what we call sort of self-fulfilling prophecies. So they're taking mm. actions based on what they expect, which is very different oftentimes than what they want. And then as a result of that, they're sort of recreating past experiences. Does that kind of sum, sum up the problem, is that our expectations get in the way of our wants and desires? It's that our expectations are different than our wants and desires. So, you know, one of the sort of simple examples I use to illustrate this concept, uh, you know, when I teach future directed therapy, which I often teach as a, in a course, is that, um, you know, I ask people, you know, would you like to win the lottery? And everybody says, well, yes, of course, <laughs> you know. And then I say, well, when was the last time you bought a lottery ticket? And people kind of look around at each other and it's like, well, you know, six months ago, you know. Um, and when I ask them why is that, the answer is always the same. It's like, well, we don't expect to win. Uh -huh. So it's understanding that, you know, we're taking actions based on our expectations and not what we want in life. And, the, the, and that's, I think, the really kind of important key concept. Because in that example, the expectation, you know, is, is sort of accurate. You know, most people really don't win the lottery. But a lot of times in life, you know, things that we want that we really do have control over that we really can create for ourselves are still things that we don't expect to get in life. So, for example, you know, if you want to have a new relationship, you know, a good relationship in your past history is, you know, you've had several failed relationships, oftentimes, you know, you're expecting 
the next one to go in a similar way. So your actions, you know, might be, based, you know, uh, instead of, you know, working hard on the relationship, your expectation is, well, it's not going to work out anyway, so why bother? So maybe you kind of bail at the first sign of something going wrong as opposed to, you know, really, you know, trying to make it work. So you can see how what we expect, again, then creates the experience itself. Can we change expectations artificially? Can we really convince ourselves that we expect to expect something different? Or is expectations just something that's, that's built into our, our way of thinking? Well, that's a large part of the process in future directed therapy is really teaching people how to begin to change their expectations because their expectations are really based on experience. But what we also know is that oftentimes when people are sort of thinking about a certain event in the future that they want, they're selectively pulling from Hmm. things that have happened in the past as opposed to sort of the whole picture. So oftentimes they have this sort of selective filter around the negative experiences, and that's really what they're seeing as opposed to, you know, the whole picture. So for most people, you know, even if they've had several past-filled relationships, they've also had successes during those relationships. There are things that they have done right, things that have gone well for them. And so it's really starting with the process of getting them to see that there are things that, you know, have gone well in their life and, and to start pulling from those experiences and then to sort of begin to, in a very step-by-step sort of uh, way, start to act on experience, uh, on things that they want in their life where they can achieve some successes, but they do it in a small way so that they get to build their confidence. And in that process, they begin to shift the expectation itself. So it's understanding that, you know, our expectations in life are oftentimes not necessarily based on the reality of the things that have happened, but Mm. really are sort of selectively being pulled from some negative experiences that we've had in our past. So they're based on reality, but it's it's a reality that we select, and we can select other reality. So we can select whatever we want. It's a reality, yes. So do you think... Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, I was just agreeing with you. It's it's a distorted reality that, in fact, is uh, oftentimes sort of pulled out. We, for some reason, we have this tendency to really hyper focus on negative experiences mm. in our past, as opposed mm-hmm. to you know the whole picture. And once you're sort of consciously aware that you're doing that, you know, one of the exercises that we do is really get people to actively focus on the positive things that have happened to them. And for most people. There are some there. There are okay. things that have gone well for them. Dr. Villar, hang on to that thought. We've we'll, we got to take a break, okay? We'll continue when we come back. We're talking to Dr. Janice Vilhow. Her book is Think Forward to Thrive. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Stress, like many conditions in a fast-paced society, is at epidemic proportions. And one of the most effective ways to support your body during periods of excessive stress is by replacing the nutrients expended during that time. De-stress contains large amounts of B-complex vitamins, in addition to vitamin C, magnesium, and valerian root extract. For more information on this and other great products, contact Lady Talk Live at 855-333-5239. Majestic Earth's Beyond Tangy Tangerine contains no artificial sweeteners or preservatives and is glycemic friendly. This easy dissolving powder contains plant-derived minerals, vitamins, amino acids, and 115 fruits and vegetables. I can't think of anything better for you. For more information on this and other great products, contact Lady Talk Live at 855-333-5239. That's 855-333-LADY. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 
855-7866. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce customer relationship software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers, from sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E.com. Snapforce.com. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Marcus Ben. We're talking to Janice Vilhauer, Dr. Janice Vilhauer, about her book, Think Forward to Thrive. Hey, Dr. Vilhauer. So, uh, you there, ma'am? Yes. There, Doc? Yes. Okay, good. So, uh, so, a lot of this, uh, a lot of what you're talking about kind of hinges on the ability to control our thoughts, correct? Well, the ability to be aware of your thoughts and to uh, consciously be able to sort of redirect thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're not, you're, you seem to be making a distinction between redirecting and controlling, is that right? Well, I would say that they're probably the same thing, yes. Okay, yes. okay so there's an element of, to, your, to your theory here, there's an element of controlling thought. That's what I'm trying to get at, is that right? That, yeah. that our thoughts have a certain power and the ability to direct them, as you say, or as I'm saying, control them, impacts how effective we're going to be when it comes to thinking forward as opposed to thinking in the past. And my question to you is, isn't the survival imperative, the, the, the need to protect ourselves, doesn't that always trump the, the, uh, the desire to thrive or the desire to be better? Well, I think that we oftentimes want to protect ourselves from you know, negative things happening in the future if, if they have happened to us in the past. But I think it's really important that people begin to have this conscious awareness that nothing in the future has happened yet. And that, you know, if some of the fear is coming from this lack of awareness of understanding why things have gone a certain way for them in the past, knowing that they can do something different, knowing that, uh, mm. you know, that there is a process by which they can successfully create future experiences for themselves. So a so, lot of the fear is about not knowing how to do it differently. So in other words, just knowing that there's a possibility that you can think differently, that you have some, there is an aspect of control that you have over how things develop. Just knowing that is powerful. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. And that's one of the things that I've seen be so transformative for people is that as they're beginning to learn this material and they start to see, uh, you know, how it all works and the light bulbs start to go off in their head, they get really excited. They lose the yeah. fear. They start to see, wow, you know, there's not as much to be afraid of as they sort of thought in the first place. They don't have to continue to recreate past experiences. There is 
you know, a process by which they can begin to make changes that is very effective, and it's not as difficult as, you know, many people imagine it to be. Okay, one of the most powerful ideas, I think, when it comes to what I'm, for lack of a better term, self-help or achieving what you want to achieve, one of the most powerful ideas, for better or worse, is the idea that we have a limited attention span, that we can only think one thought at a time. Tell me how you, uh, you have a chapter called The Value of Your Thoughts where you kind of address this a little bit. Tell, me, tell us a little bit about how this, for better or worse, aspect of our thinking behavior, that we can only think one thought at a time, how does that play into what you're talking about, thinking forward to thrive? Well, I think attention regulation, which is what you're talking about, is something that is highly underutilized in the field of psychology, and it's so, so important that our attention creates our experience. So because we can only sort of think one thought at a time, whatever it is that we're focused on is what is eliciting an emotional response. And so, you know, people oftentimes think that in order to heal you know, negative emotions in their life, they have to sort of look backward and find all the reasons Mm. for why those problems exist and sort of dig through it. And the reality is that you can only experience a negative emotion if you're focused on something that is, uh, you know, generating that negative emotion. Most people can make themselves cry in under five minutes by simply pulling up a really sad memory from their life. And it's recognizing that you don't have to do that, that in fact, you can sort of focus on things that elicit positive emotion. And what that does is it generates a a certain set of chemicals in the brain that then continue to perpetuate themselves and have a lot of sort of positive impact, uh, you know, on the brain and actually open up the creative problem-solving process of the mind, which is what we, you know, need in order to be able to create future experiences for ourselves. So it's recognizing that, you know, what we pay attention to is determining our emotional experience and that we have control over what we pay attention to. So what you're saying kind of is that you can only experience the past and the present, right? You can only, (laughs) right, so the present is the only place that we exist. It's the only place that we can experience any emotion. Uh, What we give our attention to in the present moment is what's going to produce, you know, any sort of emotion for us. So recognizing that. There's really no past in this way. But based on what you're saying, there's really no past, right? It's all present. It's all present. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say the past, I wouldn't go so far as to say the past hasn't existed. It's that we don't have to kind of continue to bring it forward with us. We don't have to continue to direct our attention to it. And the only way that we can, you know, relive the past is to direct our attention mm. to it. And that's something we don't have to do. That, that's you know, huge. It's... That is so Sorry. huge, Doc. That puts psychotherapy out of business, correct? I mean, the past, <laughs> basically, well, it seems it, like. You know, I, you know, my own view is that, you know, about psychotherapy, whether we're learning about, you know, ourselves in the past, the present, or the future, is that it's all about learning. It's all about, you know, understanding how our brain works, what we can do differently, how to begin to shift things. Um, and so, you know, I wouldn't say psychotherapy is out of business. I would just say that, you know, learning how to, you know, direct um, our sort of attention is a very powerful part of the process that people learn in psychotherapy. Okay, we got a couple minutes here. Let's get to uh, tips for thriving. You have a, an acronym you call SMART, S-M-A-R-T. Tell us a little bit about that. So SMART is a uh, acronym that has been used actually by many people in the field of sort of goal setting, and it really just talks about, you know, how to break down a goal in a very effective way. So, you know, the S stands for, you know, specific, uh, and it, so it's about, you know, really learning how to sort of be more specific about what you're thinking of. Um, the M stands for measurable. The A stands for, you know, uh, attainable. Um, the R stands for relevant. Is this relevant to, you know, your value system? And the T stands for, you know, a time frame, so creating a time frame around it. And we know from the research that this is a very effective way 
to begin to create a goal and to think about our goals. And it's very different from how the average person creates goals. Most of the time, you know, people create goals in this sort of very vague way, and then they wonder why it's so difficult to achieve because they're sort of missing a lot of these, you know, components of, you know, the sort of SMART uh, acronym that really begins to help define it, clarify it in your mind. And as you're more defined and clarified, your brain starts to work on helping you to achieve it. So as it's, you know, very clear in your mind what it is you're trying to achieve, you now activate this problem-solving part of the brain called uh, the executive network, which begins to generate ideas for how to help you achieve your goal. Where does, how does visualization fit into this whole picture? When we talk about clarity, I'm thinking that you've got to have a, a sort of clear vision. And when I think of visualization, I think of pictures. Is that accurate? Exactly. Visualization, so one of the things with SMART is it forces you, as you're being specific, to create a visual image in your mind. And one of the things that we know is helpful in achieving goals is to be able to visualize things. Uh, More specifically, really being able to visualize the entire process of achieving your goal is what the research shows to be effective. Sometimes people talk Mm. about, you know, sort of visualizing just the outcome or what it would feel like once you achieve it. We know that that by itself is not necessarily effective and in some instances can actually uh, be self-destructive to a goal. Um, But what we know that works really, really well is being able to visualize yourself, you know, going through the entire process, you know, achieving sort of each step, getting over the obstacles, um, really working yourself through it, and that you know, it, visualization is something that's been used in, in many different fields for a long time. Sports psychology uses it all the time mm-hmm. to help athletes achieve, uh, you know, higher performance levels. So it's something that is very, very effective. Where does journaling or writing come in? Journaling can be very effective. You know, I like to get people to journal about the process of what we call what can go right (laughs) as opposed to what can go wrong. Because a lot of times when people are thinking of their future, they're oftentimes focusing on all of the things that, you know, can go wrong. And Mm -hmm. what journaling does is it's drawing more attention to something specific. So as we talked about earlier, this process of attention, there's many ways that you can direct your attention. You know, journaling is a way you can do it, you know, via the process of writing. As you're writing, you're focused on, you know, whatever it is that you're writing about. So it's about giving people topics that are going to direct their attention Attention. Mm. in a way. It all comes down to focus and attention, what you're putting in on this limited stage that we have, what we're putting on this limited stage in terms of of our attention. Dr. Vilhauer, we're we're out of time. Thank you so much for joining us. The book is Think Forward to Thrive. Good luck with everything, Doc. I think you're doing great work. Appreciate it very much. Take care. Thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about it. God bless. Have a beautiful day. Okay, the book is Think Forward to Thrive. You can get it off Amazon. You can get it at any bookstore. Dr. Janice Vilhauer, thank you so much for joining us on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about nitric oxide, and we'll talk a little bit about anxiety issues and how that all works in, how that all plays in together. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Have a one. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army. Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudyne.com, or call 866-257-8668. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between 
between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates, 1-800-425-4610. 